Okay, welcome. Um, could you please tell me who you are and, and why you're here? Sure. Um, my name is Nell Watson. I'm founder and CEO of a company called Poikos. Um, we are based in Amsterdam. Um, Poikos provides a technology platform for body measurement. Um, that means that you can measure your body on a smartphone, on a tablet, uh, or on a laptop. So with does no that mean you have to have to measure things uh, with a, with a, a centimeter or? No. So there's no <laughs> no measuring tape. No. Nothing required at all, and no extra hardware. It just uses the onboard camera or the webcam in your laptop. So you go and stand in front of it, and what will it see? Well, you stand about three meters back from the device. And you're guided. Naked? No, you don't need to be naked. <laughs> um, so long as you're wearing reasonably tight clothing, our system can actually find the body underneath the clothing itself. So, you know, fairly tight jeans and a t-shirt, you're good to go. Okay. And then uh, you have this, this this image of yourself. That's right. That's right. We take two snapshots of the body, just like regular images, one from the front and one of the profile, the side of your body. And then in the cloud, in about five seconds, we recombine those two images and create a 3D avatar of your body with about 60 different um, body measurements. And uh, 60 different body measurements, so that will be like uh, the length of your arm, or the, 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 how big your head is, how long Absolutely. your legs are, and things like that. How wide is your jaw, your hips, your waist, how fat your bust. Is your, your Bottom uh, that too, <laughs> yeah, things like that. <laughs> if you want to know, yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes, you probably don't. Sometimes <laughs> I don't, <laughs> but it will tell you. It will. So why why is this? Uh, well, I, I can imagine it can be handy because you, well, at home you have a, a mirror and you can see yourself from one side, but never really truly from the back or the side. Or so so why would you want want this to, to want to see it all? Well. Um, I've always found it difficult to measure my own body. It takes, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, um, and it's very difficult to do by yourself. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that's basically why why um, my team and I created this technology. And we've been applying it to the retail markets, helping people to make the right choice of what size of clothing to buy online, uh -huh. and also um, helping this young sector of mass customization. That's the idea of being able to get custom fit um, pants or, or shirts made for you um, at a cheap price that, that most people can afford. <laughs> but last year I began to use our technology in a new way. I started using it um, to measure my own body and um, out of curiosity I suppose. And I began to track the size and my weight and things week by week. Because it will remember how you, how you look. That's right. That's right. So um, each little snapshot we can record, and then we can track how things change over time. And I found it to be pretty motivating, actually, to watch my body. And I, in fact, lost about 15 kilos in five months just by using our system and um, and and seeing if I could get to an ideal version of myself. <laughs> week by week. <laughs> and you got there in the end? Well, I, I just about. And, um, and, and since, since using it and, and enjoying using the system so much in that way that I hadn't really expected to, I now am wondering, would others like to do the same? Would others like to use our technology to help manage their body? And that's why I'm here at the Quantified Self Conference in Amsterdam. Um, because I want to meet other people interested in this area mm -hmm. um, to explore would others like to try it or would others like to work with the data that we collect and import it into what they're doing with their own ventures. And, and, and what's, the re what's been the, how, how have the reactions been so far? Well, um, I have to say it's, it's been pretty positive. Yeah. Um, uh, a lot of people are, are very intrigued by the range of different ways that our technology can be applied. Um, and interesting things which can come out of the data because we can find gender, age, and everything is geolocated. So that means we could find out whether maybe the people in Enschede are fatter than the people in Groningen or not. Mm -hmm. and, and who would like to know that? Well, perhaps government NGOs, perhaps insurers. Um, 
Uh, maybe the public, you know, maybe you want to compare yourself to the whole wide world or maybe just people in your in your street. <laughs> yeah, that would be probably be very encouraging, like a sort of contest. We gr we are thinner than uh, the ones in Gronia. Right, right. <laughs> sort of. Imagine the sense of communities which could be built around that and those kinds of league tables of of um, who can be the fittest. Uh-huh. It, it, it can also be dangerous, maybe, when, when insurers know that uh, Groningen is fatter than Amsterdam, uh, that they will raise insurance uh, uh, money, uh, yeah. you have to pay more money to, to, to get an insurance there. But like, like, for example, you, you get now with uh, um, theft uh, uh, insurances wow. in, in certain areas where there's more theft the insurance uh, uh, you have to pay is, is higher that's a very good point however i believe that our technology enables a democratization you know um, sometimes people might pay a lot of money for insurance premiums because the insurer thinks that they're in a certain category mm -hmm. and therefore they are more at risk of this or yeah. that yeah. But with our technology and others like it, insurers will soon be able to better pinpoint actual individuals' risk categories and, um, and, and provide a much more personalized and unfair service, I believe. Mm. But what will happen to the one who, who are a high risk? Well, will they still be able to get insurance then? I would expect so. Just as um, just as if you've had a car accident, you can you can still get insurance, but um, you might be motivated to um, to take more care in future. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm just digesting this. <laughs> is it is it um, will it be f yeah, well? Yeah. Will it be fair? Will it be? Yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, on a broader level, uh, well, you you said uh, you you came here to this Quantified Self conference, and and you only heard about Quantified Self uh, a couple of months ago. That's right. So so, what what do you find? What what, what, what do you what have you heard here today? What do you find interesting? It's fantastic to see so many people so enthusiastic about tracking different aspects of their physical health, their emotional health, and and how being able to visualize all of this different data in interesting ways allows hidden connections, which otherwise might not be noticed, to be seen. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's, um, it's enabling people to look at their lives in a whole new way that we could hardly have imagined just, uh, just a few years ago. And in, in a whole new way, you mean... Having more data, being able to make more informed choices, and um, and I suppose uh, perhaps that could lead to better philosophies of life someday. Uh -huh. Yeah, but won't it? Yeah, I, I'm I'm the, always the critical one. Would be, but won't it also <laughs> lead to um, well uh, a pressure upon people to make the wise choices and to 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 behave themselves and to sleep enough and not drink enough and uh, and uh, or, or not drink at all <laughs> or not smoke and that's an interesting point i believe that a lot of um problems like um like addiction or people not taking good care of themselves is often due to people believing that that they just can't do anything about it mm -hmm. that you know you know that they can't help having that extra slice of pie or having a few too many drinks on the weekend. But I think technologies which help people to measure what they're doing with their lives helps people to take control and to feel empowered to make changes and to lead better lives. Yeah, so you, you feel it will be all for the good? Ultimately, there are risks to all new technologies, yeah. but I think that quantified self is a very, very interesting movement. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, what next f for you? You, 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 you came here. You spoke to people. They are enthusiastic. Uh, what next? Well, um, we are beginning to put together a solution for quantified health, for f health and fitness. Um, a little bit less of a prototype than the version that I used myself. Something um, that consumers will will really, I feel, get a lot of benefit from. And, so what um, will be the differences? Because because it already helped you. What 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 will need to change? Um, 
I think I think making a user experience, which is very easy, um, and finding ways to to visualize the data that that is gathered in a nice way, so that you know if my bum has grown a bit, um, maybe maybe that maybe that news can be delivered to me in a gentle way. <laughs> you want to soften it up? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> all thumbs up and it looks really cool or it is wow. sort of all <laughs> tell the truth but, tell the but truth. in a cute way <laughs> yeah okay okay well that that sounds quite difficult <laughs> <laughs> and, and 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 so you will need a, 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 a well a, a user friendlier form that's right and then and then well um i think we will likely have a lot of early adopters for this new solution um, found hopefully at this conference because where else in the world would be um, a better place to, to pick up the kinds of people that that we believe will be interested in, in what we're doing. Yeah, so are you already handing out cards for people to start using your... Uh Oh, you bet, you yeah. bet. Yeah. yeah. So, and people tell you they will start using it and, and will uh, will uh, well, try and, and work on themselves. Already, um, hundreds of people around the world are experimenting with our technology, and um, and we're we're gathering lots of very interesting insights on um, on the road ahead. <laughs> The data you gather, is, is it data you gather or is it data they gather, the people themselves? The data gathered always belongs ultimately to the end user. However, because we need to help make sense of it, mm -hmm. um, we, we retain a right to, to work with it. Um, but if a user wants that data to not be shared with anyone or they want that data to be destroyed, that is completely at their discretion. Okay. Okay, so if, if you don't want to join in the Amsterdam Groningen competition, you can say you don't want to. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. Um, do you see a, a road ahead of you where you will visit uh, conferences like this all over the world to promote the product? I, I expect so, yes. Many in the health and fitness and and uh, other uh, QS conferences, such as uh, the one in, in Palo Alto. Mm. And when, when do you think uh, the product will be on the market? Well, For fingers the crossed, we're uh, hoping that it will be released in September. Really? That soon? Yes. Okay. And uh, what's the name again? Well, um, our company is Poikos, yeah. and we're trying to think of a really nice brand for this technology. Maybe something like QSU, we don't know yet. Okay, okay. so we have to wait for that to, uh, well, to come out. <laughs> That's right, but okay. you can follow us, um, Twitter, at Poikos, or uh, check out what we're doing at www.poikos.com. That's P -O -I -K -O -S .com. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs>